all the other leaders of our freedom movement and to the millions of people of our country who fought with bravery and courage that we pay homage. Our independence was won on the principles of truth and non-violence. It is this, as well as the transformational impact it had in other parts of the world that makes our freedom struggle exceptional. In Asia and in Africa, voices of freedom against oppression and colonial power were encouraged by India's example. We can be proud that we all belong to a country that has proved its greatness through values which have found such a wide resonance. We, as the inheritors of that great legacy, carry a responsibility to stand by truth and justice to continue to conduct ourselves in a manner that is in consonance with India's standing as a progressive and responsible nation, where values of democracy, harmony and tolerance are deeply embedded. Our country is standing on a mole. There are many important issues that we will have to focus on. When we do this, we will have to be aware of this situation कहीं हम देश को मजबूत करने के अपने मुख्य लक्ष्य से भटक न जाएं यह अवसर आत्ममंथन का सोच समझ कर कदम उठाने का तथा भविष्य के लिए सही ढंग से तैयारी करने का है पहले भी ऐसे मौके आए हैं जब भारत देश को कई सवालों का सामना करना पड़ा है और हमने इनके हल ढूंढे हैं किसी भी देश की असली ताकत उसके सामने आने वाली चुनौतियों से नहीं बल्कि उनको हल करने के ढंग से आंकी जाती है अतः हम जब भी स्थितियों का विश्लेषण करें नीतियों का निर्माण करें कानून बनाएं, योजनाओं को कार्यान्वित करें और कानूनों को लागू लागू करें तब हमें नहीं भूलना चाहिए कि हमारे सारे क्रियाकलापों का उद्देश्य है प्रगति के पथ पर आगे बढ़ना और समाज में नैतिकता तथा मूल्यों को बनाए रखना Dear citizens, India is the world's largest democracy. The country has performed well economically with a growth rate of 8.6% last year. We are committed to the welfare of all and are pursuing an inclusive growth agenda. There is much promise, much potential and much hope and much optimism about future prospects. I point this out so that as we deal with the challenges we should not be unmindful of either our achievements or of our past or the principles on which our freedom, constitution, democracy rest or very importantly of our future. Our actions today, our decisions today will fashion our tomorrow. A deep sense of responsibility is a call of our times. All institutions and all citizens have to demonstrate great maturity and if I may so, so say so, a degree of self-restraint as we deal with our problems. Corruption is a cancer affecting our nation's political, economic, cultural and social life. It is necessary to eliminate it. Government, parliament, judiciary and society at large should ponder about this and find out ways to handle it in a manner that is practical, implementable and sustainable. Dear citizens, the census has just been completed in our country. We are now a nation of 1.2 billion, constituting about a sixth of the global population. We will reap a demographic dividend only when our population educated and equipped with the necessary skills. This entails a focus on education skill development to build their capacities to meet the requirements of the nation. Indians have shown tremendous enterprise and there are many success stories. They have earned goodwill for the country wherever they are working or they are settled. They have done us proud. The underlying purpose of our work is to provide to all citizens opportunities of progress and to eradicate poverty, hunger, disease and illiteracy. I have always said that it is a growing gross domestic product along with the welfare of the people that are the twin pillars of a progressive nation. Today, anti-poverty programs, social welfare schemes and a commitment to ensure food security 
form the core of our inclusive agenda strategy. We must persist with our efforts to bridge differentials in economic growth in the country. 68% of our population continues to reside in rural areas with a majority dependent on agriculture. Yet, agriculture is one area where we are yet to reach full potential. We need a model to revolutionize agriculture. Dear citizens, events of far-reaching consequences are taking place in the world. In a globalized world, these developments are ramifications beyond borders. We are all aware of the consequences of the global financial meltdown of 2008. Uncertainty is again confronting the, the world economy and would need to be tackled through coordinated global action as also by suitable precautionary measures in our country. Our economy has fundamental strength and resilience. Its large domestic market can help it maintain steady growth rates. However, price rise is an issue engaging our attention and would have to be dealt with. Also, we are all aware of the threats that terrorism is posing to peace everywhere. The attack in Mumbai last month is yet another grim reminder of the destruction that can be caused by terrorism. We need to be ever vigilant to fight this menace which is a global phenomenon. Dear citizens, the challenge for us is how effectively we carry forward the nation from now onwards. Let history be the judge that during our time we found the right answers to challenges we faced and acquitted ourselves with dignity and continued to work with unity to build the India of our dreams. Dawn will break tomorrow. Now flag will flutter. Whatever task you are doing in the interest of the country is important. And I call on all citizens to pledge that they will work with full commitment and dedication, honesty and integrity and with a sense of pride. If we do this, there is much that we will be able to achieve as a nation. With these words, I wish all citizens the very best on the occasion of Independence Day. Jai Hind! Jai Hind.